So what is this Bernoulli's principle and how does it help? Before we get into details, let's talk big picture here about holding water. Some swimmers do it naturally, but some need to be taught and trained. Walk onto any pool deck and if you listen carefully enough, you may just hear a skilled coach describe how a swimmer swims by how much water he or she holds. This goes back to the one concept I try to get across to my high school swimmers each season. I describe it like this. Instead of pulling your hand through the water, you have to pull your body past your hand. I make sure I have everyone's attention and let that statement sink in a little bit. Don't pull your hand through the water, water, pull your body past your hand. I reassure swimmers and tell them that every swimmer from Michael Phelps down to the first year junior varsity swimmer slips a bit. However, the goal is not to slip as much as you can help it. Let's be real here, water is not solid. You can't really hold it. But here's where we have to start to think. Think of swimming upstream. Why is it so hard? For people who have experienced it and actually tried to swim upstream, it is real easy to imagine. As you pull your hand through the water, the water doesn't push back on your hand to push you forward. The water is going in the same direction as your hand trying to pull. Your hand is slipping. The current of the water is going in the same direction as your hand trying to repel yourself forward and the opposite direction that your body is trying to go. Now imagine turning around in the river and swimming with the stream's current. Happy days! You're going fast without having to pull too much. Each of your strokes is being enhanced by the water flowing in the opposite direction of your hand and in the same direction as your body. So now that we have a mental image of slippage, we try not to do it as much as possible with each stroke we take. I tell my swimmers that this sport would be real easy if we installed ladders about two feet deep and parallel to the surface of the water. They could push off the wall, just grab the solid rungs of the ladder to propel themselves forward. It would be real easy to pull your body past your hand. That is the ultimate unattainable goal. For each stroke you take, wherever your hand enters the water to grab it, the hand would remain stationary and your body would be pulled past that hand holding the water. That would be phenomenal. Here's where the sport of it all comes in. That goal is in fact unattainable. Athletes can spend a lifetime trying to perfect it and it will never be perfectly mastered. Why? Because water is not solid. In a pool, there is no current like in a river. So why should we care about this? The water is calm and undisturbed. This is where I plead to my swimmers not to pull your hand through the water. Here's the reason. Every time you pull straight back in the water, it creates a little tiny current behind your hand as it pulls through the water. That little tiny current is the same effect as trying to swim upstream in a river. The effect is lots of effort spent spinning your hand through the water lots of slippage, very little forward movement for your effort. Here's the key takeaway. Do not pull straight back in the water. It creates slippage, it is not efficient, and it actually causes a lot of overuse injuries.